I'm Alicia, a developer advocate for Google Cloud. And in this video, I'll show you how to build a data pipeline with Google Cloud. Whether you're looking to use data to perform analytics, to build machine learning models, or for reporting and business intelligence, there are several ways to bring data into Google Cloud. In this video, I'll walk you through an architecture for one data pipeline approach called ETL, or Extract, Transform, Load, which allows you to maximize flexibility in how you transform your data, while also providing dynamic scaling to handle large amounts of incoming data and processing demands. By the end of this demo, you'll have seen an ETL pipeline in action and will understand the components used, including cloud storage for landing data, Dataflow as a managed service for processing data, BigQuery as a destination data warehouse, and finally, Cloud Composer as an orchestration tool that helps you author, schedule, and monitor data pipelines. Let's get started. If you logged into the console for the first time, create a project. A project is required to use Google Cloud and forms the basis for creating, enabling, and using all Google Cloud services. I'm going to be using this one for our demo today. In the left-hand navigation, select Billing and link your billing account. You can also go here anytime for an accurate, up-to-date picture of your cloud spend. By clicking View All Products in the left-hand navigation, you can view all products, learn more about them, read the documentation, work on a quick start, and even navigate to individual products. If you prefer to use the command line interface to start building your ETL pipelines or other cloud solutions, from the top right corner, you can activate Cloud Shell. Cloud Shell is an online terminal preloaded with utilities such as the G Cloud and BigQuery command line tools, which allow you to configure and deploy Google Cloud resources. Now that you know how to navigate through the console, let's look into the ETL pipeline project. First, let's head to Cloud Storage, a service for storing objects in Google Cloud. Objects are stored in containers called buckets. You can create a bucket in the console by clicking the Create Bucket button, and then following the prompts on the bucket creation form. Each prompt includes information to help you choose the storage location, class, and access control policies for your use case. In the Cloud Storage browser, the first bucket you see listed is storing all the files needed for the pipeline. This is where we uploaded the raw source data we want to make available in the data mart. The input data in this pipeline is a text file containing some points of weather data. To ready the data for loading into the data mart, we need to transform it from a text file to a JSON object that adheres to the schema of the destination table. We have outlined this transformation using a JavaScript user-defined function, which is also stored in the Cloud Storage bucket. Our ETL pipeline is written to process only this one transformation. However, the architecture is flexible and scalable to handle numerous and complex transformations over large amounts of data. Which brings us to the next step in the pipeline, processing the transformation. This is handled by Dataflow. Dataflow is a fully managed data processing service, which allows you to focus on the logical composition of your data processing job, while Dataflow executes the transformation, managing parallel processing, coordinating workers, sharding data sets, and more. If you're interested in working within the Hadoop ecosystem, you may want to explore using Dataproc to manage your data processing. Dataproc is a managed Hadoop and Spark service that allows you to create and manage clusters quickly and easily. In fact, it can spin up a cluster in about 90 seconds. Then you're ready to take advantage of all the open source tools you're used to. All right, back to our project. In the Dataflow UI, you can click on the job to view the execution graph. A pipeline's execution graph represents each transform in the pipeline as a box that contains the transform name, and some status information. You can click on the caret in the top right corner of each step to see more details. Once the data flow job completes, the transform data is written to the destination table in the BigQuery data warehouse. 
BigQuery is a fully managed data warehouse that provides incredibly fast SQL analytics over large data sets. By landing the transformed data in BigQuery storage, it's ready for downstream use for jobs like performing analytics, building machine learning models, reporting, and more. From the BigQuery console, you can select the destination table to see details, including a preview of the first few rows of data, and click to start writing and running queries. If you would like to try querying larger data sets, Click Add Data and explore public data sets to see our library of more than 100 data sets ready for you to analyze. Clicking on a particular data set tile will provide you with more details, including a description of the data set, metadata showing information such as update frequency, and even sample queries. So how could you coordinate, automate, and monitor these multiple services into a pipeline? There are several orchestration tools in Google Cloud that can do just that. Cloud Composer is specifically designed to orchestrate data-driven workflows, such as batch ETL workloads, and is built on the popular open source project Apache Airflow. Composer is fully managed and allows you to use Python to create, schedule, monitor, and manage your pipelines. However, if your workflow requires low latency executions, or follow spiky patterns, you'll want to consider Workflows. Workflows is a fully serverless solution, which means that you can focus solely on your workflows without exposure to underlying infrastructure. So while Composer is a great fit for data workflows orchestration, the Workflows service is better tailored for bursty, latency-sensitive serverless use cases. Finally, if you don't need to manage a complex workflow, you may only need Cloud Scheduler. Scheduler manages the execution of a single service on a recurring schedule using cron scheduling. You just learned how to build an ETL pipeline on Google Cloud by loading data in cloud storage, processing transformations with data flow, and warehousing your analytics-ready data in BigQuery. You also saw options for orchestrating the pipeline with Cloud Composer, Workflows, or Scheduler. Thanks for watching. I encourage you to sign up for a trial and follow this tutorial yourself.